Uh, when I was filming this, I was sick, so if I sound like a drowned rat during this video, that's why. Hi everyone, and welcome to a review of LEGO Set 75345, 501st Clone Troopers, Clone Troopers Battle Pack. Should be called the Specialist Pack, pack and this is a 20th anniversary set, which is quite nice. And it is celebrating the 20th anniversary of Star Wars The Clone Wars, the TV show, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to get into what I like about this set first, which is the minifigs, so we'll start with them. So what do I like about the minifigs? Well, I like the fact that they all have slightly different prints, like as you can see with the specialist here, he has uh, blue arms, like the old Forever First clones from several years ago, and a little yellow marking there. He doesn't have anything else, but he looks fine, like on a shelf, he looks fine. Then we have the heavy, which honestly is probably the coolest one. He has like um, a backpack satchel thing, and a, and a different helmet design, which I bet most people didn't notice when they, if, if you have this. He is, I believe, supposed to have blue legs, or maybe the officer. One of them is supposed to have blue leg, blue legs from the bottom down, but like, it's not the end of the world. Um, they're all the same face, because they're clones. And he does have back printing. He has this very cool backpack, which is a, it's a staple of Clone Wars. They, all, they, they appear on the back of clones, and Jedi use them, and all sorts of cool. But he does have back printing. It's just the um, Pritchard on backpack going around or whatever that's meant to be. And yeah, same detail most clones have in the back. That's either a water canister or a grenade, I can't remember. And same leg, they all have the same leg printing, which I guess is consistency, which is nice. And he has a different gun, which I think looks cool. I think it's, it's, I think it's the same one as Wrecker, um, or similar to the one Wrecker comes with. And the officer, which I'll be honest, looks all right. Um, but it could be better. I'll get into why I don't like it, but just on its own, officer, the officer looks fine. Like, it's got very nice blue printing around here and here, and the, the range finders, it works. Um, and it does have different legs, actually, to the rest of them, and his little buckle there. And the build, the build is quite nice. It is reminiscent of a much, much, much older one from, I think, maybe 2010. This, it came with an off trooper and an arc trooper. Um, it is very similar. The color scheme similar. The legs similar. The whole go up and down is similar. The legs can move. They both can move, and they both have a clear plate, a clear piece holding them up in the center, which I think is nice. If you had two of these and two of these, they'd look fine next to each other. Right. So now, what I don't like about this set. Things I don't like about this set. The specialist. Now, yeah, full focus. Um, I don't like the binoculars on the specialist. It looks unfinished, like it doesn't look printed. Clone Army Customs has been doing them for years and years and years, and theirs have been printed. Um, like it would have been so simple just to put a blue line here. Like I could do it, you could do it with a pen. Like honestly, um, and that's pathetic. Just having that and blue arms is not much. The gun's fine, the gun works. It's just like, oh God. <laughs> it's just like, this is kind of basic, and I know people have done a lot better when we didn't have the helmet holes, but like, I guess this is better than nothing. And we did get a new piece. We did get this piece and it's a new piece, so that's nice. I don't really have anything to say about the heavies. They're nice, they're good army builders. I do have something to say about the officer. I don't like this minifigure that much. Like, I like it, but not very much. I don't like the fact that it doesn't have come with a waist cape. It should have come with a waist cape. Even with a paper waist cape. It would have worked, like, just, and the set does actually come with two pistols, so you can make them do a wield, which, honestly, I think LEGO should have done. That would have just been, that would have been just much better than using in one pistol. Um, also, the rangefinder doesn't entirely work on this new mold, it just falls off. It just falls off, it's not, like, you can put it either down, you can put it either down, or up. There's, there isn't in between, but like, it's it's good for stop motion. Okay, I'll give it that. But it's not. Mm. And then the other thing I don't like, the helmet holes, where they are placed. Everyone, when the in 2020, when this clone trooper came out, thought, oh, if Lego does helmet holes for these ones, they'll put it there. They 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 didn't. They they put it up, and now these helmets look stupid. Like. Stupid. They look completely stupid with like without anything on them. Which one would you rather have? 
this one or this one. I know which one I'd, I'd take. I'd take this one because it doesn't look stupid. Like, look, it looks fine on the specialist and the heavies and Commander Cody and that um, Captain Vong image that leaked a couple days ago. Um, they look fine. It's just without it, like all my children for the top challenges. I'm looking at them now. They look goofy because they have a hole here. It should have been here. And clone troopers, when they reach up, to tap, click the button on the side of their head. They always reach for this. Like, uh, they always reach here where the hole is. They don't reach below. It's dumb. It makes me annoyed. But, and on the box, the specialist helmet, it's advertised as being where everyone thinks it would be. But no, it's not. It's just, they do it all over the box. All over the box, they do it. Look at, look at that, look at that, and then look at that. There is a gigantic difference. This one looks so goofy now. <laughs> that looks so much better. This one looks so much goofy. Ah! I'll just quickly, I'll just quickly show all the play functions of the turret while I'm here. All the le the legs all move. Uh, this this goes up and down. Um, you can fire the flick fire missile. And yeah, it's 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 a fine turret. Like you can put a minifig on it, and they look fine. Alright, that was my review of LEGO set 75345, five first clone troopers battle pack, should have been called the specialist pack, I don't really think it's the end of the world, but the helmet hole situation is, they could change it, I hope they do, there's rumours that they're going to make a UCS Venator, I hope if, when they do that, because apparently there's meant to be a Captain Rex in it, I hope when they do that, because you know, he's going to have an, uh, an antenna, uh, not an antenna, a rangefinder. I hope they have one hole in the side of the helmet and just cover up the other one. Even if it's up here, they can just cover up the other one. Like, that would make it so much better. Anyway, what's next, you might ask? Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. That is next. That is, that's what I'm doing next after this one, after this set. Ah, oh, God, that made me angry. How long have you been here? How, how long have you been here?